Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and we are excited to let you know about our whole body screening packages. We have two different packages where you can evaluate your entire body from the head, neck, chest, abdomen, and pelvis, and you can evaluate that safely, either with a screening package, which is about an hour-long procedure, and it's a more limited examination just to screen the body, and that is something we give to people who have no symptoms, and just worried about their health and want to catch things early, or have family histories of problems and they want to make sure that everything is good. And those are called screening examinations. There's another examination called a diagnostic exam. And we do the same body parts, the head, neck, chest, abdomen, and pelvis. But rather than doing an hour-long screening study that's a little bit limited, we do a full diagnostic MRI, just like you'd get at a hospital or any other place, of each body part and people who get the full diagnostic whole body scan. Those are more for people who have symptoms, they have headaches or abdominal pain or some symptoms, and they have a high clinical suspicion there's something wrong, we're not just screening for abnormalities. Or if they have a really high clinical suspicion from family history, and they want to just pay a little bit extra and get that done and have the full-blown, full diagnostic images of each body part. But either way, you can look at your entire body safely. There's no radiation with MRI. We don't give contrast, and so there's no um, ill effects from contrast or contrast reaction possibilities. And so it's a very safe and effective way to scan the entire body. And I just want to show you an example of what a whole body scan would look like. So this is a view of the head, and we will start at the top and go down through the entire brain in multiple different sequences. And you can see the eye here on the right, eye on the left, the after nerves coming back to the brain. We go all the way down low through the brain and into the neck. And again, we'll evaluate the brain in multiple projections, multiple sequences, and we'll be able to screen for abnormalities like this, where they have little white matter lesions in their brain, and these are related to migraine headaches. When we evaluate the neck, we do a few different sequences of the neck, and we can see the thyroid gland here on the right-hand side. Over here is the left side, we see the thyroid gland, and we will go up through the neck and down through the neck and make sure that all the soft tissues are normal. There's no enlarged lymph nodes. The glands are normal in size. There's no inflammatory process. All the blood vessels are open. On the chest, we'll do a few different sequences of that to see the heart here in the middle. We'll see the right lung, left lung. We'll see the blood vessels like the aorta coming out of the heart the vessels going up to the brain. We'll see the right lung and left lung over here and see the diaphragm and all the abdominal contents below that. And then we'll come out of the chest down, here's the heart, go through the diaphragm and we'll see the upper abdomen and then the lower abdomen. So here's the upper abdomen, we'll see the liver on the right hand side. We'll see this structure over here called the spleen. We'll see the stomach. We'll be able to look at the pancreas that comes across here horizontally. Make sure there's no pancreatic lesion or inflammation. We'll be able to evaluate the gallbladder over here on the right-hand side. This is the left side of the image, the right side of the body here. We'll see the kidneys. Here's the right kidney, the left kidney. We'll see the blood vessels, the aorta, and the inferior vena cava, and all the intestines here in the middle. And another projection here, we can see the same findings. This is the liver, the spleen, right kidney, left kidney here, the spine in the middle. And we also can see down here into the upper pelvis, and we can see the common bile duct coming out, going down, and all these things here, the intestines, large and small intestines, can evaluate those as well for gross abnormalities. And then we come down to the pelvis to finish off the exam, and we can evaluate the urinary bladder, see the pelvic contents here, look at the hips, other bones of the pelvis, we can see ovaries and the uterus, if the uterus is there. This patient had a hysterectomy, so there's no uterus, but normally it would, be, it would normally be back here behind this big structure, which is the urinary bladder. We also get a look at the lower lumbar spine here. And lastly, we'll look at the anterior abdominal pelvic wall here. Here's the belly button or umbilicus. Here's the small intestines in the middle, the colon around the edges. And we'll just look down for any enlarged lymph nodes in the pelvis and look for any hernia defects along the left or right groin. And that's it. That's what we see with a whole body scan, either again a screening examination if you're asymptomatic or a full diagnostic, which is a longer exam, it takes about twice as long if you have a high clinical suspicion or if you have symptoms. So thank you very much.